Welcome to the sports review segment on Breakfast Daily on City TV. My name is Daniel Kranting. Hi, Kweku. Yay, what's up? Yeah, I'm good. I'm very, very good. Um, let's go straight into business. No we, long talk. We, we should. Uh, yeah, we should. Uh, yeah, we okay. Should. <laughs> <laughs> let's start off with the other 20 women's World Cup. Uh, yesterday, Ghana lost their second group game yeah. um, against Japan, defending yeah. champions Japan. We lost mm. that game by two goals to nil. Um, I must say it was a much better performance. It than was, actually. Much, much I, I better. was super impressed to see that exactly. they cleared the first half with no deficit. No I was impressed. <laughs> I, that was we low. were talking about 8-0, 9-0. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, first I half ended impressed. goalless. And unfortunately, you yeah. considered two penalties yeah. in the second half. Mm. Um, Maika Hamanu, she scored both penalties mm. to give Japan a 2-0 win. So now, um, Ghana are bottom of the group, uh, zero points minus five goal uh, difference. It's a bit dicey, we can't tell. We, now we have to beat Netherlands in our final group game mm. um, by quite a number of goals and okay. hope that um, mm. Japan will do us a favour against USA and also beat USA by quite a number of goals. So calculators <laughs> are out again. You know, with Ghana, you can, you can never ever go to a tournament. I know, without calculators. calculators. That's, that's, how, that's how we do our business. But let's go to it. Oh, goodness. Let's go to the Premier League. <laughs> well, why would you deliver me into the, into the house of my enemies like this? Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> um, DK, I'll promise you something. Promise me something. I'm not in a mocking mood. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be a gentleman this morning. <laughs> Hopefully. So, um, there were wins for Man City and Arsenal. Mm -hmm. uh, Man City beat uh, Bournemouth by four goals to nil. Okay. Um, Arsenal beat uh, Leicester City by four goals to two. Uh, Gabriel Jesus. He scored two goals. He said he could easily have scored a hat trick. Mm. He scored two goals, two assists. Impressive performance, man yeah. of the match performance. And then later in the day on Saturday, uh, Man United visited Brentford. Mm. Um, yeah, and uh, Brentford um, gave Man United four goals to swallow. United mm. didn't complain. They swallowed all the four <laughs> without uh, any hesitation. So Man United were beaten by four goals to nil by uh, Brentford. Quite painful, quite shocking. The scoreline, mm. not uh, yeah. or the result, yes, not yeah. that they lost. But yeah. the scoreline, four goals to nil, wasn't the best. And then uh, on Sunday, it was a titanic game between um, Chelsea and Tottenham Hotspur. For me, by yeah. now, this, this is the game of the year for me. I'm really? Not like to, yeah. But people, um, are, people are slamming the referee, though. What's people are slamming that? the referee, but you, I'll get there, I'll explain. Okay. Okay. You see, it had everything in it. It had uh, red cards for coaches. It had fights. It had last minute goals. He had look, he had everything. That it encapsulated what the Premier League is about. Yeah. And the Hurricane scored a 96th minute equalizer uh, to deny Chelsea all three points. Uh, mm. Both coaches were sent off after the game because um, somebody was holding somebody's hand uh, a bit too firm. The other person didn't like it, so it became a small tussle. And if they had left them, we all know who, who would have won the fight. You know that, right? If they had left them, who would have won? The see, fight? people who can't no, no, fight. Who have won you know that people who can't fight. Yeah. They'll do. Hey, then they'll go and hide behind because they know people will come yeah. and say, yeah. Yeah. That's what the Chelsea manager was doing. <laughs> so he went and quickly went and he was shouting plenty. But he didn't want to. We know him. We know him. Guys, there's no anything. But yes, um, the interesting thing about the referee decision is that, um, yes, there was a foul before uh, the corner kick was taken. But that foul wasn't spotted by the referee. VR is only for penalties, um, red cards, and then uh, goals. Okay. So VR cannot review a decision and say it was just a foul. Mm. It must be a red card offence. So once they reviewed the decision and saw it wasn't a red card offence, that means play must continue. Okay. And then the corner was taken and Tottenham oh. scored. So it's a clear goal. Clear okay. goal. Okay. Okay. Mm. So people who are slamming the referee don't understand the rules? Is that what the issue is? Yes. It's, it's just the technicalities of okay. VR. So people are saying VR should have disallowed the goal, mm. but it can't do that because play had progressed. Excellent. But um, elsewhere, you know yeah. there's a group of people who were stealing people's players, spending money that they didn't have um, throughout <laughs> the transfer window. Barcelona, they are the ones I'm talking about. <laughs> yes, they paraded all their new boys in the opening game of the La Liga this season against Rayo Vallecano. Mm. Um, they couldn't score. He ended goalless, and in fact, their captain got sent off at the end of the game. So mm. with Lewandowski, Rafinha, Dembele, all the people they stole, or stole in court, they still <laughs> couldn't beat Rayo Vallecano. But Real Madrid yesterday, um, the champions, yeah. the defending champions, they opened their account with a 2-1 win over Almeria. So Almeria scored first, and then Ghana Twitter was going uh, wild. Mm. We were excited. We were calling it uh, Amelia instead of Almeria. Say Amelia, Amelia, the righteous ally scoring Real Madrid. But Real Madrid said no. They came back, scored two goals, and then they won the game. That's what champions are about. You know, big boys, they always do big things. You understand? <laughs> well, some people said the same thing about Chelsea, though. Said, That's what champions are about. But we didn't see much when it came to them. I don't know. I mean, okay, I guess there are champions who are one-time champions, and then they are real champions. Yeah. 
Is that what it is? I, I don't want to say something. <laughs> I don't want to say something. You want to commit me, but I will not go there. In France, um, PSG, yeah. um, that's match, uh, match day two in the French mm. League. Uh, PSG, they won by five goals to two. Um, Neymar scored twice. Uh, Mbappe scored once. And Mbappe was catching some heat after the game because there was this sequence of play where um, he asked for the ball to be passed to him. The ball wasn't passed to him. It was passed to another player. But if he had continued running, mm. he would have ended up with him. But he got angry because the ball wasn't passed to him. He slammed the shoulders and started walking. And then when play progressed, he, got, he went against the team. So um, people are saying he should humble himself because he's not... You are playing a team with Messi and Neymar and you think you're a boss. No, cool down. There's Messi there, there's Neymar there before you. So, <laughs> yeah, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. and I also, think that, I also think that the nature of soccer is such that it's a team sport, but mm -hmm. it's a team sport where every player has to bring their best. Yeah. You can't afford a moment of pride. Mm -hmm. It's a lapse that will trip yeah. you, you know. It so will. I don't understand why see, some players... If anybody know, is going to complain or if anybody is going to have yeah. the right to complain when the ball is not given, it should be messy. It's mm -hmm. not you. Anyway. Because, yeah, it's, yeah. Ah, there's no messy by you and you are complaining. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> but in Germany also, Bayern yeah. Munich, eh, they continue their winning ways. You know Bayern Munich in Germany, they've mm. won 10 league titles in a row, soon mm. to be 11. I'm saying soon to be 11 on the second game of the season because you know Bayern Munich, they are that dominant. Yeah. They beat yeah. uh, Wolfsburg by two goals to nil. Sadio Mane thought he had opened the scoring, but his goal was disallowed. Mm. Uh, it was Muller uh, and Musiala, they scored the goals for... Um, by Munich. Dortmund also won their game by three mm. goals to one. They came back from behind against Freiburg. Quite impressive win because Freiburg are a very good team. Yeah. Um, Dortmund came back to win by three goals to one. So as a stance in the German Bundesliga, both Bayern and Dortmund have won their opening two games. But as I said, soon to be 11 because we know that along the line, Bayern will do their thing. They'll keep giving people six, seven, six, seven, as and when they like. They are that dominant, they are that good. Yeah. So, um, that's that for Germany. And in Italy also, um, the Italian Serie A started this weekend. AC Milan, the champions, defending champions, mm. they won by four goals to two against um, Udinese. Um, Inter Milan also they didn't get a last minute goal to beat Lecce, a newly promoted Lecce team. And Lukaku scored, by the way. Lukaku scored, by the way. But yeah, uh, yeah uh, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm just wondering about all this thing where people leave and then suddenly they are blossoming again and all of that. But yeah. Yeah, it happens to Chelsea. You know the funny thing? The Timo Werner, who left Chelsea, yeah, yeah. scored this weekend for Leipzig. Lukaku, who left Chelsea, scored, scored this weekend, weekend for... And Chelsea needed a goal. And they were missing chances here and there. If you had kept them, they would wow. have scored for you. Wow. You had to go there. Well, that's true. <laughs> that's true. I'm a, you see, I'm a man of principle. You understand? I'm a man of principle. You don't have a striker. You yeah. sold your two strikers. Yeah. They've gone. They are scoring. And your team is playing. You yeah. are creating chances. You can't, you can't score. score. Well, bring them back and let them score the ball for you. It's as simple as that. Monday Night Football? Yeah. What's your guys are in action. Yeah. Liverpool are in action in the Premier League later tonight. It'll be live on 97.3 City FM against nice Crystal one. Palace. Crystal Palace are the team that lost to Arsenal on opening day. You mm -hmm. remember them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jordan Ayew's team. Yeah. Yeah. So Jordan Ayew's coming to Anfield. He's come to he's, try and cause a few he's problems. He's welcome. Oh, he's welcome. He's I said welcome. try and cause a few yeah. problems because I know Anfield is a very, very difficult place to he, go to. He, but yeah. you know, he will understand when we say this is Anfield. <laughs> he will understand it tonight. I'm telling you. Right? <laughs> I'm telling you. That's Liverpool's first home game of the season yeah. under the lights. So we, are, we know what to expect. All right. Fantastic. Daniel, thank you very much. Thank All you. Right. Have a fantastic day. Well, we're going to take a quick break and uh, we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.